In our master's program in speech-language pathology, we address a lot of different types of disorders related to speech and hearing. And the disorder that I am most involved in is voice disorders. We produce voice by using a little structure in the neck called the larynx, which most people know of as the voice box. There are a lot of different types of voice disorders. Um, they can occur when a baby is born with some kind of defect within the larynx, or it can be related to damage later on in life to the larynx. Um, a person can have some kind of neurological disorder, like a stroke, but also things that most people wouldn't think of as being damaging to the larynx really can be. So for instance, if a person is very stressed or anxious or tense, uh, that can affect the larynx, it can actually damage it. Voice disorders can affect anybody at any age. So an infant can be born with a voice disorder, school-age kids can develop voice disorders, and that's really very common because a lot of school-age kids are tend to be a little loud sometimes than people in their 20s and 30s, their 40s and later on can be affected as I mentioned by stress or by illness. So really voice disorders can affect any age group in any setting. There are certain drugs that uh, can be used uh, to alleviate the voice problem, but there are also a lot of what we call behavioral techniques, where we just teach the person how to use a more efficient way of producing voice that isn't so stressful or damaging to the vocal folds, to the larynx. And then there are also a lot of surgical techniques that have been developed over about the past 20 years or so. If one just listens to the voice, if, some, if you hear that uh, your child's voice, for instance, has changed, that's a good indication to take that child to a speech-language pathologist or to a doctor um, or to an ENT, an ear, nose and throat specialist, um, because a change in the voice doesn't happen unless there's some reason. It might not be a bad reason, it's quite possible that the child is just, you know, yelling and laughing and they become hoarse. Um, but it could be something that needs to be looked into a little more in depth. If your voice feels different to you, if it feels like it's taking more effort to produce the voice, or if your voice is becoming tired after using it for a little while, um, then that's definitely an indication that you should go and see about that. It's always a good idea if you feel that something has changed in your voice or in your spouse's voice or your child's voice. It's always a good idea to go and get it checked out just to make sure that there is nothing more serious going on. But for anyone who is interested in learning more about speech, language and hearing, uh, disorders or about the services that are provided for these disorders, check out our website at hofstra.edu slash spch.